Hey everybody, how's it going? Went to another townwide yard sale today and I am excited to show you guys what I got. Uh, there's a lot of video game stuff and also a lot of other really good stuff. And then I'll also talk about a few eBay solds this week. So let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing we got here is a PlayStation 3 move lot. Uh, they wanted 15 bucks for it, so I just gave them the $15. We got the PlayStation Move controller, uh, gun controller. That I alone I think is worth 15, 20 bucks. And there was two of these controllers. And one of these ones with the joysticks. I think these are each worth around 15. Then there was also the camera. And there was these games with it. The demo disc, sports champions. The fight, lights out, active two. Yeah, there's actually the active things in the uh, in the box over there, but I know that's not worth anything. <laughs> and PlayStation Move Heroes. So a pretty cool bundle. Couldn't pass it up for 15 bucks. And at the sale, right after that, I saw this PS3. Um, she wanted 25 for it, but I offered her 20 and she took it, and she also threw in uh, these three games. God of War, Disputed, Kane and Lynch 2. I know none of these games are really valuable. I'll probably just keep those. Actually, I may keep the system, because I have the PS3 fat, but it's kind of been messing up. For 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. She said everything works. We'll see. It's got a one original controller, and there was also a random PS2 controller in there. But they're always good to have. And next up, we got an Xbox 360. I typically don't like to mess with these, but it was 20 bucks, and it has the hard drive on there, so I figured why not. The thing that really made me buy it was it also has, um, well, five original controllers if you count this one. Well, four original controllers, and there's one GameStop one. So I know the controllers alone, I can get my money back and make a little, so that's why I picked it up. Hopefully it works, and also it does have the... Battery pack, which is important. This things are brick, so you want to make sure it's got that. But, um, I mean, it looks like it's in decent shape. It's got the 60 gigabyte hard drive, so I figured why not for 20 bucks. At another sale, I picked up some games here. There's five games total, and I paid $12 for them. For PS4 Kingdom Come, this one's brand new. Actually, looks like a pretty fun game. I'll, I'll probably end up keeping that. And right here is pretty cool to see a very nice condition Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy for PlayStation 2. It still has the plastic wrap on the outside, and all the games are in mint condition. They all have the manuals and maps. Just like a very nice condition one. This is probably worth thirty, maybe thirty-five dollars. And I'm definitely debating on keeping this because I don't have it. And this is like a very nice one. <laughs> and we got Soul Calibur 3 for PlayStation 2. Matrix Path of Neo for Xbox. And Jade Empire Limited Edition for Xbox. Definitely a great deal for $12. Okay, now on to by far my favorite find of the day. I got all of these vintage PC games at one sale. Uh, he had him, I asked him how much he wanted, and he said $2. I don't know much about these, but I knew like that was probably a good price, especially like a few of them are sealed. But I just asked him how much he wanted for the boxes, and he said we decided on 60 bucks, and it's about 54 games total. So definitely a great deal. They're all either five and a quarter floppy or three and a half inch discs. And the one that caught my eye was this Bubble Bobble game. And this is the only one I've looked up so far, but this alone has sold for $100. So I have a feeling I'm going to do very good on this. I know some of them aren't going to be that great. Like, I got, like, pro golf, and but, but I, I feel like some of these are going to be definitely good. And I was trying to... He also had a lot of software and stuff like that, like programs, but I didn't buy those because I just don't know about them. But... Thinking about it, I probably should have just bought everything. Well, yeah, let me take you through some of these. 
You got the Bard's Tale. Like, I know that game because it's on NES. And I'll just give you an example of what's in these ones. These ones are flip open ones. There's a stack of those, and then there's also like big box ones. But yeah, so you got your your three inch disc. And you got your two floppies there. And I think it's got it's got like a manual in here or something. Instructions. So yeah, they're just so cool when I saw them. So I decided to take a chance on them. Look at this one right here. R. <laughs> it's just so cool. Like, look at that artwork. Yeah, this looks kind of like a Rampage type game. Never heard of that one. You got Fun Pack. This one comes with a controller. I looked in there and the controller is like still new sealed in there. So that's awesome. Uh, F-15 Strike Eagle. I don't have high hopes for that one because I know it's not worth much on NES. But you never know. Uh, this is cool because it's like a really big box. Like Repose, Land, Sea, and Air. Street Sports Basketball. Hardball. Uh, test Drive. That one's still got the wrapper on there, but it's open. I'll show you uh, some of the sealed ones. Day of the Viper. Bushbuck Global Treasure Hunter. That one's new sealed. That one's in really good shape. Wide World uh, Sports Boxing. That one's new. All American College Football. And Millennium. Return to Earth. So all those ones were new. Then some other cool titles. Quicks. Like I just love the artwork on these. It's so cool. Sky Shark. It's another NES game. And there was all all of these ones that are all like folder style. Marble Madness. Believe it or not, this is like one of my favorite games in NES. <laughs> That's really cool. Mind Mirror. Look at that picture. Use a construction kit. Arachnoid. Or Arkanoid, actually. So, yeah, I'm not going to... I won't go through every single one, but... It's definitely an amazing buy, I feel like, for $60. So, I can't wait to go through these and see what I got. All right, let's move on to some other stuff. Uh, first up, let's start with this giant Dracula vampire guy. Uh, his eyes light up and he talks. Yeah, it's like 50 inches tall. I paid $2 for this guy. Uh, he's a little dinged up. If he doesn't end up being worth money, I mean, probably just keep him because we love Halloween around here. But yeah, definitely pretty cool. Uh, then there was one sale where I spent a total of $5 here. And this sale was pretty awesome too. First up, I got this vintage Lost in Space, the Jupiter 2 plastic assembly kit. Uh, it is still sealed. The plastic is torn, and there is like a, a nick in the back here, but it is sealed. Um, I'm hoping to, I should be able to get around 35 40 bucks for that. And then I've been trying to stay away from vintage cameras, but once in a while, you can't help yourself, <laughs> I guess. The guy was basically like, that's a dollar, just grab it. Uh, there's this Polaroid uh, Spectra system camera. Looks pretty cool. But that was a buck. And that might, it's got the manual in here, but that would probably get me only like 10 bucks. But then I was looking at this and I didn't know like what it was. So he went and he opened it up for me. It's a Polaroid uh, SX-70 LAN camera, Model 2. And this one's got, I don't know, some wear to it. Something's on this, like, brown part. Hopefully that'll clean up. But this camera has actually got some value to it. 
And as I was grabbing that, he said, if you get this for a dollar, I'll throw in the accessory kit. He, he said it goes to it. I'm like, all right, why not? So you open it up. It's got all the stuff in there, all the original boxes. Uh, I believe everything's in the boxes. I like shook them and they all seem full. <laughs> But I was shocked to see that this actually has some good value to it. Between the camera and this, I should be able to get around 150 bucks, which was crazy when I only paid a dollar for both of them. It was another sale where they had records and I got there and I'm looking through them and the woman said, all the good ones have been taken. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then I start looking through and I'm seeing stuff like this. And I'm not by any means a record expert, but... I figured some of these probably had some value. So she only charged me a buck a piece, which was awesome. Uh, so far, the records I did check were like really good shape. So we got David Bowie changes one and two. An Animal House soundtrack. I may keep that. I also collect records. <laughs> Van Halen. So it's only worth probably like 10, 15 bucks. But the David Bowie ones are worth some decent money. This, I just thought, was really crazy looking. And it is a Rolling Stones record. One's cool. <laughs> uh, they Might Be Giants. That's another one that has some decent value. Pretty in pink. Now, I had a feeling about this one because I, brought the, I bought the Breakfast Club one three different times and sold it every time for like 25 bucks. So definitely pick this up and I should get around 25 around the same for this one. So that's great. And oh yeah, this last one, that's just for me. I love Rod Stewart. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Uh, I paid a total of $2.50 for this stuff. Uh, vintage Godzilla. It's from 1985. That's pretty cool. That was only a quarter. And the Beatles, Cirque the Soul program, that was only a quarter. And then these Mira stereo headphones. I'm not sure. These are probably from like the 70s or so. But they were pretty clean in the original box. It looks like the manual and stuff is behind there. So pick those up for two bucks. And there was another sale. Uh, these things were each a quarter, but I just gave them a dollar. A sealed Perfect Storm VHS. I know, like, I had a feeling this wasn't worth anything, but for a quarter, couldn't leave it. <laughs> I'll probably bundle it up with, like, a lot of other sealed ones because I tend to pick them up if they're cheap enough because you never know. Some of them could be worth a lot of money. And then a couple of these uh, Burger King vintage glasses, Jungle Book and Snow White. I also got a couple movies here for $2 each. Uh, the Beatles, A Hard Day's Night, Collector's Edition. That one's brand new. That was two bucks. And also two dollars. Keanu Reeves, John Wick, chapter one and two. It's a 4K. I think that's probably worth like 15 bucks. Uh, the other one's worth around 10. So not a bad deal. I also grabbed this vintage applause frog. It's from 1980 something and it still has the tags on it. Uh, it does have like a little like hole in it. But overall, good good condition and i paid a dollar for it so i should probably get uh probably around 12 to 15 okay this right here <laughs> was a personal buy i don't have any shame in it you know i just thought it was cool i mean take a look it's mark Wahlberg. you'd be crazy not to buy it <laughs> but i paid five for these three things uh mark Wahlberg from planet of the apes uh this girl from planet of the apes and it's DVD, The Fair-Haired Child. Looks pretty crazy. And this right here is a Sony Mega Storage 300 CD player. Um, I have already sold one of these that was in the box for 300 so I already knew it had value. I ended up picking this up for $25. You wanted 30 off from 25 And the cool thing is, it's even got the remote. Now, the remote alone has sold for around $40. But you put it together, and I should get right around 200 bucks for it as long as it's working. I already plugged it in. All the stuff's moving around as it should, so 
I got a strong feeling it's going to be working just fine. And yeah, that was an awesome buy. The last thing I picked up is this group of artificial pumpkins. Uh, this one right here is a vintage Treadmasters. It's got the light inside. I got that one for two bucks. And then at another sale, there was five of these ones. Now these are artificial carvable foam pumpkins. Um, I looked them up and I should be able to get hopefully around 10 to 15 bucks a piece. Possibly more, like depending on the size of them. This one may go for a little more. But I got those five for a 10. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to do is talk about a few of the things that have sold on my eBay store during the last week. Uh, up first, we got Time Crisis 1 with the Gun Con for the PS2. That sold for $59.99 plus shipping. I don't really have anything into that that came in a big lot of stuff, so that's good. After that, we got 1989 Scrabble Deluxe with the turntable. That sold for $31.99 plus shipping. That cost me, I believe, $6. And next was a really surprising find. It's a Alls Wesky Gallery of Light Thomas Kincaid Miniature Light-Up Diorama. Uh, this sold for $279.99 plus shipping. It's literally like a 4x6 little light-up diorama. And I got it for $8. So I was pretty impressed with that. <laughs> and it didn't take that long to sell. Probably about a month or so. Uh, next we have a Wachusett Mass Soul Beer Tap for $14.99 plus shipping. Uh, then we got Defender of the Crown for GBA Complete and Ace Combat Zero on the PS2 for $58 total plus shipping. And that is going international. So that's pretty cool. And the last thing I want to talk about is the Cord Buddy for $24.99 plus shipping. Now, if you watch my last video, you'll see that was in uh, the free stuff I got. So that's definitely awesome to get $25 bucks for something you got for free. Well, all right, guys, I hope you liked the video. There'll be more videos to come, more pickups, more playthroughs, collection showing, anything that I think of that might be interesting. All right, have a good one. Bye.